Welcome to Joe B, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joe B and Matt and the ever loving cat. We watched a couple of movies this week. We watched some Bugs Bunny. I am loving it. Matt brings Bugs Bunny and I love it. I can't get enough Bugs Bunny. You you could watch it for the rest of your life and never watch all of them over again, right? Could be. So, um, we happened upon a great movie tonight. It was called Breaking In. It had Gabrielle Union in it. Um, her father passes away. She has a couple of children. They're in the house, and she gets locked out of the house. But it's a fortress. Her dad built this fort, impenetrable fortress. So she's on the outside and she can't get in and save her children. But she kicks ass. She rocks it, y'all. You know, I love that tough chick shit. She does a great job. Um, I, I, good from beginning to end. I don't want to tell you what happens in the end. You need to watch it. But you know she kicks ass. So you take it from there. Um, uh, I had the pleasure of watching Overboard this week. It had Anna Ferris in it, Eva Langoria, and the guy that's in it, I don't care how many times I wrote it down, I could not pronounce his name. It's very Spanish. He's hilarious. I watched him a long time ago in a movie called The Latin Lover. It had Selma Hayek, Rob Lowe, Kristen... Kristen, uh, uh, her name's not right. Her name's not Kristen Hayek, is it? And Raquel Welch. Selma Hayek. Sel I said Selma Hayek. Okay. Who's the one that sang the voice in The Little Mermaid? It's oh. her. Cutest little blonde-headed girl ever. All right, her and Raquel Welch. And the same guy from The Latin Lover. If you watch either one of them... You'll be sufficiently entertained. I tell you what, they're both amazing. Um, and Overboard, Anna Ferris, she makes me want to cut bangs in my hair again. Her little bangs were perfect. I don't know who, who cut her hair. She is so cute. She looked just like Goldie Hawn. The story followed suit, uh, it, but it switched sides. So... Rather than the girl being the bad guy, the guy was the bad guy. And she had three daughters, and the daughters in the film were not nearly as bad as those boys were in the first film. When uh, Goldie Hawn had to go and take care of those boys, they treated her badly. They treated her badly. But, but the dad getting, didn't get treated as badly. He was loved and cherished and all that stuff. Either way, you follow it through from beginning to end. All of the key points of the movie were the same. It was very good. I enjoyed it very much. I, I hope Matt and his mom get to sit down and watch this movie because they'll like it as much as I did. Very cute. Um, uh, breaking in. All right, so I watched a movie this week that a lot of the people on Redbox trashed. It was called Fifth Passenger. All right, now, it, the, the movie was kind of cheap. Definitely the monster was cheap. Just, just don't even pay any attention to the monster. It kind of looks like a crab. But the story's good and the characters are good. Uh, I enjoyed it very much. Um, it looked like a, a cross between a crab and a scorpion. But don't look at it very much, honest to God. Marion, don't look at it. Shut your eyes, Marion. Don't look at it, no matter what happens. Don't look at me! The, the, the alien takes away from the movie, but the rest of the story is very good. They, they uh, are coming back from space. There's supposed to be four of them. There ends up being five of them. Um, only very entitled people are supposed to be on these uh, ships that get away from the ship that's blowing up. But if they had all listened to that one girl in the first place, the whole ship wouldn't have blown up. But <sighs> you watch it. Enjoy it. Very, very good story. I liked it a whole bunch. Fifth Passenger, Overboard, Breaking In. 
Oh, we have so much wine to talk about, people. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, the the preview and the Bugs Bunny, and we're gonna dart into the kitchen, shall we? We're not taking the cat. She doesn't drink wine. I'm gonna leave her in here. So I went down to Fresh to Frozen this week. She's really not being tortured, y'all. She just yells for fun. And I found a bunch of wine, good prices. Um, they don't have any more of my very favorite, which was Yellowtail. They must have lost whatever they had going on. But I came across Little Penguin. Love it. The Cabernet is good. There was a Cabernet Shiraz. Uh, this is what we started with. Little Penguin Cabernet Sauvignon. And then I have a Shiraz that I found. $5.99 for the big bottle. Loving that. And then there is a Shiraz Cabernet. All right, so Matt and I partook of the remainder of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, which is amazing. I'm going to go back and buy some more of that. I think there's maybe three more six-packs of it. They're mine, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow. Um, I found one bottle of Snapdragon. I know we reviewed that. Very fruity. Very fruity. Very good. We enjoyed it a lot. Um, it is a Cabernet Sauvignon. And we told you that the guy grew the vineyard on top of where he buried the dragon. That used to watch his vineyard and he would make sure that nobody stole any of the grapes and when the dragon died he planted the vineyard on top of the dragon snapdragon I hope you remember that. I do, because it was way cool. Um, Little Penguin wasn't significant, but I did come across some other things. Watch this. Poison. P-O-I-Z-I-N. Love the bottle. The story on the back is very good. If you have the opportunity, you should read it. I could read it to you, but it takes so damn long. But you'll enjoy it. Um... It was a Zinfandel, Z-I-N, very good. So then on the same venture, I came across the Zombie Zen. It was not good, but the bottle was good. And I bought two of them, so now I have candlesticks, yay. But look at that, how could you get past those? They're just too much, everybody. What does that taste like? You gotta have it. Um, we got some new ones in at Costco. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'm gonna start with one that I didn't like very much. It was Kirkland, it was a Malbec. The bottle is beautiful. Look at that brown, look at that gold. Isn't that inviting? And then you go, oh my God, it's 91 points. It's by some guy named James Suckling. I swear to God, I'm never gonna listen to that guy again because I didn't. I'm not a Malbec fan. I'm a Cabernet fan from my collection, you can tell. If you're a Malbec fan, you may like it very much. I don't want to cut you off from this magnificence because you may like it a lot. Uh, and then we got another new one in at Costco, and I enjoy this 14 hands. All right, so this is the old bottle, Hot to Trot Red Blend. 2014. All right, and then all of a sudden, bam! They changed the label, they changed the box, they changed the back of the bottle. The back of the bottle is different. It's the same item number, it's the same UPC code. Matt and I are going to try them, juxtapose each other. Don't you love that? This one and this one. We're going to do the old one first and then the new one. And we're going to go, hey, this is what's going on. So people were trying to tell me it was because the year, but Matt and I are going to get to the bottom of this. No matter what it takes, 
because we're professionals. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I think I told you about all the wine. I didn't get to watch a lot of movies this week. I have my uh, I have my shirt on that <laughs> really isn't me, but I love it anyway. How ironic is this? I'm the best behaved girl on the planet, but I love to wear dangerous shirts. Danger's my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys drink some wine, watch some movies, and come back next week and see us because we're going to be here and we're going to have a lot more to talk about. I hope you have a great one. Take care. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching Jopie, a movie and a bottle of wine. I'm the best behaved girl on the planet. <laughs>